a movie. Let's head now this morning to the uh, editorial coordinator and film critic for HollywoodChicago.com. Patrick McDonald is back with us. Hey, Patrick, good morning. Hello. Good morning, Baker. Be safe, be healthy. Hold over there. Let's go to the movies. Hey, dinner and a movie. Let's get to it. You've got a couple right. of movies to review. Why don't we start off yes, with sir. The Holdovers? Yes, The Holdovers, opening in select theaters tomorrow, November 3rd, a wider release next week, November 10th. This film reunites the actor-director team for 2004's Sideways, Paul Giamatti and Alexander Payne. Set in 1970, the story follows Paul Hunham uh, Giamatti at Barton Academy, an unpopular history teacher who becomes responsible for supervising the holdovers, the students who are unable to return home for the Christmas holidays. During this process, he is forced to deal with Angus, uh, Dominic Sessa, a rebellious student who is grieving the loss of his father. Will this unlikely pair get along? Now, this is a push-me-pull-you story of redemption, uncovering the truth about each of the main characters, which includes the black cafeteria manager, Mary Divine Joy Randolph. The setting of the 1970s allows for debates on Vietnam, Mary's son died in the war, and the notion of loss as it is applied in different phases of life. There is a, a bit of too much preciousness when it comes to the bonding that brings together the three lost souls, but the pre-digital age emotional survival is well-grounded and exquisitely performed. This is a lighter film for director Alexander Payne than he usually does, and it has a sense of comfort and joy behind it that makes it a Christmas movie that could even go into the annual holiday rotation. The Holdovers, four out of five, in select theaters tomorrow, November 3rd, wider release, November 10th. 